Hello, my name is Dr. Neil Baum, and I'm a urologist in New Orleans, and want to talk to you about the condition or situation of a PSA elevation after treatment for prostate cancer. So let's begin with how is the PSA test used after treatment for prostate cancer. PSA test is used to monitor patients who have a history of prostate cancer to see if the cancer has recurred. The rising PSA after treatment, radiation or surgery, may be the first sign of reoccurrence. It may appear months or even years before any signs and symptoms of prostate cancer reoccurrence appear. A rising PSA does not always mean the cancer has come back. Usually the PSA test is repeated to make sure it is not a laboratory error. Then other tests may need to be ordered in order to check for evidence of a recurrence. The important thing that we do in terms of monitoring PSA is look for a rising trend of the PSA level and not just focus on a single PSA lab test. After surgery, radical prostatectomy, the PSA should decrease to almost zero by approximately four weeks after the surgery. We usually wait, though, a total of six to eight weeks after surgery before getting the test. A low, stable PSA level that is not rising may be due to some benign prostate tissue that is still left in the body that is producing the PSA that is in the bloodstream. The PSA after a radical, uh, after radiation therapy, uh, doesn't kill all of the cells in the prostate gland, and there are remaining normal prostate cells present that will continue to make some PSA. After radiation therapy, the PSA drops gradually and its lowest level may not be achieved until two years after, after radiation. If the PSA rises more than two nanograms per ml, above the lowest level the PSA has been, further treatment should be considered. One exception is called the PSA bounce, and this sometimes occurs after brachytherapy, which is the insertion of tiny radiation pellets into the prostate. The PSA rises for a short time within the first couple of years after brachytherapy and then returns to its lowest level. Another term that I'd like you to be familiar with is the PSA doubling time. This is the period of time over which a man's PSA level doubles. A long doubling time, a year or longer, indicates tumor recurrence is very slow growing. However, a doubling time that is less than three months usually indicates more aggressive prostate cancer and requires further workup and possibly further treatment. The PSA time from its lowest value is referred to as the nadir. A rapid PSA elevation or a short PSA doubling time have been associated with a greater risk of spread of the prostate cancer. A rapid increase after treatment tend to have more aggressive disease and are therefore more likely to need more aggressive treatment. Other issues to be of concern are the Gleason score. The Gleason score refers to how the cells look underneath the microscope. A Gleason score has a range from 2 to 10. A low score means it is less likely to spread. However, a Gleason score 7 or higher is 
more likely to, sp to spread. The Gleason score is used to predict the prognosis of prostate cancer. Another issue or concern is the stage of the prostate cancer and this is based on the biopsy results, the Gleason score, the PSA level before treatment, and any other exams that were done to find out how far the cancer has spread. We commonly use the TNM staging system. T stands for the extent of the primary tumor, N stands for whether any lymph nodes are involved, and M stands for any evidence of metastasis. The pathology report is the biopsy of the prostate tissue that are received by the pathologist. Surgical removal of the entire prostate gland, seminal vesicles, and the vas deferens and lymph nodes are often included in the pathology report. The pathologist will also give the Gleason score of the submitted tissue and how much of the prostate gland contains cancer. Another concern of the pathology report is if there is penetration of the capsule. Penetration of the capsule or spread to the capsule is more likely to require additional treatment after surgical removal of the prostate gland. And finally, the pathology report includes any involvement of the lymph nodes. So what are the tests that are ordered after we confirm that the PSA is indeed elevated? One of the tests now used is the MRI or magnetic resonance imaging. This is a non-invasive medical test used to identify if the prostate cancer is confined to the prostate gland, if there is extension to the prostate capsule, and it's also used to detect uh, localized cancer after there is a elevation of the PSA after treatment. It is also used with their, when there is a rising PSA after curative treatment either by radiation or surgery. The prostacent scan is different from the PSA as this is attached to the cells of the prostate cancer. An injection of the antibody combined with indium is used and is indicated in evaluation of patients with newly diagnosed prostate cancer who are at risk for advanced disease and after a man has had local therapy with either radiation or surgical removal of the prostate gland who presents with a rising PSA after treatment. The prostacin scan is also helpful to determine whether further local therapy or systemic therapy consisting of hormonal therapy is indicated. A bone scan is a test where a radioactive tracer material is injected into the bloodstream and it gives off low levels of radioactivity detected by a special camera. This low level of activity is preferentially absorbed by the bones and it determines if the prostate cancer has spread to the bones. The treatment options after finding recurrent tumor consist of hormone therapy to reduce the levels of the male hormone testosterone. Testosterone comes from the testicles and lowering the testosterone level makes prostate cancer shrink or grow more slowly for a period of time. Hormonal therapy does not cure prostate cancer and eventually it stops helping the control of prostate cancer. Hormonal therapy can be 
uh, achieved by either removing the testicles or now more commonly with medical therapy. Watchful waiting is also a treatment option after a rising PSA. It is sometimes used to describe a less invasive or intensive type of follow-up that may mean fewer tests and relying more on changes in a man's symptoms to decide if additional treatment is necessary. And finally, chemotherapy is a treatment option consisting of anti-cancer drugs injected into a vein or, be, or by given by mouth. It is useful for cancers that have spread to distant organisms, organs. In summary, men with prostate cancer need to be followed for years after they receive definitive treatment. A rising PSA may indicate tumor recurrence. It does require e evaluation and may require treatment. For additional information, I recommend you go to my website, www.neilbaum.com. Thank you.